This is Alia Kerr, our Operations Manager for Duffy Down Under. What is wonderful about our, our business is that um, this business involves our entire family. Um, firstly, my wife and my daughter, uh, but also my brother-in-law, Tevis Westgate. I enjoy going to work every day because obviously it's my family and it's a passion that we all have and especially um, helping to save the environment at the same time as well. So it's really enjoyable to come to work every day with the people that you love and have fun with. The concept of, of Duffy Down Under in Australia began um, really with my wife and I who many years ago saw uh, an opportunity to actually bring the Duffy electric boats uh, into the Gold Coast and we had noticed that there was a um, uh, no electric boats in this country. Uh, they've been producing Duffy electric boats now for 40 years in the United States. Uh, a tremendously good product. My wife grew up with um, the Duffy electric boats and so um, last year we decided to actually act upon what we uh, saw as a, a, a wonderful product uh, for the Gold Coast environment. We went over to the United States and um, we became the, the dealers for Duffy electric boats in Australia and hence the name Duffy Down Under. The local communities, particularly the people surrounding the waterways, have been tremendous uh, in the support of the Duffies being clean, green and zero emission. Imagine a day out uh, on your boat where you've spent uh, no money on oil, you've spent uh, no money on petrol uh, and even better there's no registration required which makes it the largest boat, uh, powered boat on the water that uh, does not require registration. The Duffy electric boats do a top speed of six knots. Being uh, an electric boat they're very talky so they actually maintain their speed throughout um, their, uh, their sailing times. Uh, on this particular boat that we're on today, uh, which is our 18-foot uh, Duffy Snug Harbour Executive, you can have up to 10 people on board and it will maintain its speed of six knots. Not only are the Duffy boats for sale, but they're also rented. Uh, and, uh, and the beauty of our rental business, which is at Mariner's Cove here on the Gold Coast, is that um, you know the average person who wants to go and have a beautiful day out on the waterways can do so without having a, a boat license so it opens up a whole other market that would otherwise not have existed. This is um, the first time for Duffy Down Under to be uh, featured here at the uh, International Boat Show at Sanctuary Cove. Uh, we've had three absolutely wonderful days here. Uh, we, we always had hoped um, obviously when we decided to bring the boats into Australia that they would feature well here but we have been absolutely uh, overwhelmed and blown away by the response that we have had. We had um, Councillor Dawn Critchlow down yesterday and she actually stated that it was the future for the Gold Coast because it's, they're quiet, they're not interrupting anyone and she said it's, this is the future being clean and zero emissions. Hello, I'm Stephen Milne and I'm the Director of Brand and Communications with Riviera. Riviera is an Australian company and we're based in Queensland on the Gold Coast and we're Australia's largest and most awarded pleasure boat builder. We're on board our new 61 Series 2 that's been launched at the Sanctuary Cove Boat Show this year and directly uh, in front of me is our new 53 enclosed flybridge which also has its world release at this year's show. It's been a very successful show for us so far, with nine boats being sold uh, in the first three days of the show. The 61 Series 2 is a shaft drive boat 
with a keel, so it's a traditional hull design. And below we've got uh, three cabins and three bathroom design. Up in the main saloon level we've got an aft galley opening right out into the cockpit where we've got a mezzanine lounge area with forward and, uh, and aft facing seating around a large table and a very generous saloon size where we've got a U-shaped lounge and a U-shaped dinette. Very social boat. And then upstairs here we are in the beautiful enclosed flybridge, even on a day like today, which uh, the weather's not the greatest. You're totally high and dry. Uh, you're totally at home in, in passage making. This is an immensely capable boat, uh, designed to cross oceans and certainly traverse the, co the, the coastline of Australia or any other country. To launch this particular boat, we staged a, uh, an event to mark the launch with, uh, with the owners last week here on the Gold Coast, and we towed 12 professional water skiers uh, behind this boat. It was a great spectacle, and it was the first for, for Riviera. Never before in Australia have we towed so many uh, skiers behind one boat. It was a real buzz. The other boat that we're launching here at the show this year has its world release, which is the 53 enclosed flybridge. Now this boat is an entirely new boat, uh, designed uh, totally in the, uh, in the computer over a period of two years in our CAD system before uh, being actually manufactured. We toured the globe and spoke to all of our owners uh, to get feedback in terms of what they wanted to see in the next generation of Riviera. And the new 53 has everything that the market has requested. The latest technology in terms of LED lighting and digital switching and the propulsion system is the Volvo Penta IPS system. IPS delivers a fuel saving of up to 30%, which is significant because a boat like the 53 has the capability to actually run from the Gold Coast to Sydney and then come about a third of the way back on one tank of fuel. That's remarkable fuel economy for a boat of its size. The boat externally has beautiful lines, big sweeping uh, curves back aft, and inside we have a totally different and uh, new interior for Riviera. In fact, everybody that steps on the 53 steps off and says, wow, that's the best boat Riviera's ever built in 30 years. So the boat has three staterooms, two bathrooms, and upstairs in the saloon, an aft galley, uh, forward lounge and dinette facing each other, and a beautiful enclosed flybridge. I guess the main uh, feature of the 53 is the full beam master. Full beam means that it runs the full width of the boat with huge portholes either side that can be open. So it allows you to lie in bed and literally look out onto the water. There's a walk-in wardrobe and a huge ensuite in that cabin. So it's truly a master suite. Reaction to the 53 has been exceptional. We currently hold 13 orders for this new boat. Uh, all of those are off the plan based on uh, uh, the announcement of the boat last year and uh, we're very excited about the market acceptance for this boat. The future for Riviera is certainly very exciting. We now have a very strong forward order bank and we're actually in the process now of tra trying to recruit more staff to help us meet this growing demand. We currently have 400 people on staff at our Coomera facility and we're in the process now of developing our next new model that uh, we'll be announcing at uh, Sydney International Boat Show. So if, as far as Riviera is concerned, literally the best is yet to come. My name's Dean Lee Smith. I'm, also, I'm a director for Gold Coast City Marina and Shipyard. Also uh, dealer principal for our range of boats here at Lee Smith Cruiser Sales. Lee Smith Cruiser Sales has been operational since uh, 1964. Uh, I'm third generation in the company. Uh, we basically we sell Hampton yachts, endurance yachts by Hampton, Alaska motor yachts, and I've even taken on a small line of uh, bow riders called Hurricanes, for, uh, which are tailored mode for our marketplace here, being that they're outboard powered. So today we're sitting here on the, uh, the Endurance 680. This boat here we're on today is actually a new model, it's a world release, uh, it's a semi enclosed, again with a semi custom interior and fit out for a specific client. We've got the, the, typically the lounge upstairs is facing forwards. This one's been spun around to face aft so the owner could see out on the water. Uh, we've also in, in, implemented a day head here on the main deck level just behind us. Uh, that's a great asset for any cruising vessel owner. Uh, the fit out is absolutely exquisite. It's on par with the Bentleys and so forth in the, as, a, as a brand comparison you could probably say. By maintaining a timber interior we, we haven't lost touch of our old world and traditional routes but we've also got cutting edge technology everywhere you look. 
Kevlar hull, two layers of Kevlar, chine to chine, three layers in the collision zone forward. The absolute best of equipment, we're running a pair of C18 873 horsepower cats. This boat has a uh, comfortable cruise of around about 10 knots using a remarkable 50 litres an hour, which is unheard of in this, uh, this marketplace. All your cutting edge technology, from your LED lighting through to uh, all your exquisite trim and so forth right through the boat, dual generators, chilled water air conditioning, hydraulic thrusters and so forth on board. Uh, it's a turnkey boat, which has got the absolute very best of everything. When it comes to the options, all the electronics, the jet tender and so forth, uh, a nice big 1600 pound bower crane upstairs as well, full hydraulic, just means ease of use and uh, uh, practical safe boating. And uh, look, the, the options are plenty. You really want to come and have a look at our website, enduranceyachts.com.au, or if you come to Lee Smith Cruiser Sales site, uh, it's lscruisersales.com.au. Uh, there's more about all our range of boats there. Um, I'm Rex from uh, Anchor Ride Australia. The Sarka Anchor is our product. We actually make a number of uh, different types of boat anchors. Been around for about 16 years now. Um, just basically gone through uh, sit by holding power certification, which we've gone another step higher in uh, supplying quality anchors to the industry. Well, what's special about the Sarka anchor is it's a full combination anchor, and during the time of our patents, there was nothing like it worldwide. So, this is the first purpose built combination anchor ever made. Certification basically, what it means to a customer, certification means is when he buys an anchor, he's buying a tested and proven design. He's also buying an anchor that's been tested for strength. And to a, to a boat on the survey, what it means is where he had to, where he could carry an anchor of say 65 kilo on an untested anchor, he could now use an anchor probably about 10, 15% less in weight because it's simply tested and proven. The complete range of Sark anchors and our XL anchors which we have, they are all uh, certified by certified, certified holding power certification. It is Australian certification which is recognised international as um, if this is done through the National Marine Safety Committee, but it is to be taken over very shortly or managed by AMSA. The XL design concept was simply because the Sarka anchor uh, uh, with its holding power was recognised and then the boating industry wanted something that would fit a full pit as the hoop style anchor will only fit over a roll atop assembly, not coming through a pull pit. So we designed the XL. So the XL is uh, basically a, a uh, a squashed up version of the Sark Rager. Instead of having a hoop on it, we have cast steel in it. It has the cutting edges, the turn down tow, extremely high holding power anchor, so much so it's actually putting out more than the Sark Rager. We're, we've just launched the new XL here at the boat show, aimed at the commercial industry. These anchors are super strong, and we believe in the near future will prove the strongest anchor ever made. Initially, we're starting off with boats around about 100 tonne, and we hope to be at anchor boats up to about 300, 350 tonne. So it's going to be a range up to about 360 kilos. Sonia Gilmore and I'm Belinda Hill and we're here today at the Central Boat, uh, Central Cove Boat Show today raising money for Special Olympics for this World Summer Games in Athens next month. We're competing as a pair. We qualified the Games in Adelaide at the National Selection Trials in Adelaide last year and that's how we got selected. Well, we started um, sailing about 11 years ago, starting off doing just recreational sailing with an organisation called Sailability, uh, which is a volunteer organisation that takes people out with disabilities on a sail for, for a day. And we started off there, and, and it's just taken off ever since. Okay, well, at the moment we're selling some hats and doing some coin drops around the place. So. Anybody who's interested would like to make a coin, whatever, every um, money will count.